Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 81. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can find me on Google+. Also go to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and check out the other videos and posts. Also, if you or anyone you know are interested in getting an e-commerce site developed, please contact me on CodeKarate.com. My development team and I have some openings in the upcoming few months and are looking to do a few e-commerce sites, so I would definitely appreciate any referrals on that front. Today we're going to be going over a simple module that's not useful for every instance of your or every Drupal site that you build, probably, but it can be useful on some Drupal sites, depending on the right context. For instance, I could see the usefulness of this module on sites where there's a lot of forms or checkboxes, especially on some sites that I build that are more business applications that are used to manage customers or projects or things like that. If, if you have anything with a lot of checkboxes, the Speedboxes module on Drupal.org can help. Basically what it allows you to do is it allows a nice little interface for you to select multiple checkboxes at once. It's a very simple module. It's relatively new. doesn't have a lot of downloads so go ahead and see if we can get that download count to increase a little bit by trying this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's currently set up to work. Like I said it's relatively new. Hopefully it'll eventually be moved so it uses the libraries module or something else, but currently the way it works is go ahead and download the Speedboxes module and select the 7.x-1.2 then you also need to extract the Speedboxes JavaScript and it says you need to put it in the modules folder. Eventually, like I mentioned, hopefully this will be in its own library, but it works for now. I'll just go ahead and go into the Speedboxes module. I will download this zip file, unzip it, and get rid of that zip file that I don't need anymore. And we should be good to go. Go ahead and en enable the module now. And the module should now be downloaded, installed, and working. So I'll hop over to my test site that I just installed this on, and we will confirm that it is in fact installed which it is. I'll go ahead and go to the permissions page and if I scroll down you'll notice that the speedboxes module is currently set so only administrators can use it which is probably what you want but you can of course change it. Let's say we want it for anonymous and authenticated. Simply click and drag you can check all, uncheck all, check reverse so we can go ahead and easily select and unselect ch multiple checkboxes. So obviously this works well for the administration page. You can select a whole bunch at one time. And it just works right out of the box. Very simple, very functional. You don't have to do a lot to get it set up. And it's one of those modules that just works. There also is a little bit of information if you wanted to just set it up somehow as a browser plugins across all sites. I haven't looked at that. I don't know how that works, but you can of course take a look. Like I said, it's not something you're probably going to use on every site, but if it's a site where there's a lot of administration or a lot of forms that need to be filled out and you have admins who need to go in and check lots of boxes at one time, this can be a module that can just help you save some time. So thanks for watching this short episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal and we'll be back again next time. See ya.